Oh, welcome. Okay, Synology sent me this. It's a DS920 and it does NAS stuff. Let's look at it. There we are. That's it. What do you use it for? What is a NAS? There's a nose? No. Okay, no, you of course use it to back up your data. We need, we need disks, don't we? We need to put some disks in here. Um, ah! Two four terabyte Ironwolf NAS drives. Now make sure you get NAS drives because they ensure that they are you know, running constantly. NAS drives, network attached storage, runs all the time. These now go in there. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? There's some um, two LAN ports on the back. That's nice. There's a eSATA plug, which you can put things in. There's a USB port and some fans. And, oh, it comes with the LAN cables. That's nice. There's two LAN cables. Oh, little keys. Look at that. So, hello, hello. Uh, no, that's, that's still, do you push it? No. Oh, that just see one, two, three, four. Unlock number one. Quick installation guide. Uh, yeah, not so quick. Uh, oh, because I just locked it. <laughs> Unlock and hey! Ah, now it comes out. Okay, and then you got to mount the drives. Drives. Uh. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, now I've clicked those two into the side there. See, in one side, one the other side. So this is now drive one. <laughs> now it's lined up. Okay, let's put the other one in. That side and the other side. This is surprisingly easy, actually. I'm a complete noob. I've never done this before. And then let's see if I can get this one in the first go. So, slidey inny and <laughs> Now the two are in. We can lock him. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the interface. See what happens when we fire this puppy up. Hmm. Plug in. There. Power. Power. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. First, I have to enable the port on my Dream Machine Pro so that the NAS can actually connect to the interwebs. So that's in here, port number two, where I plugged it in, as you saw just before. And we're gonna give that a name. Well, actually, I'll, I'll cheat. I'll give it a name, but you'll see it appear in just a second go. Blop, there it is, see? And now we can go and find the NAS. So find.synology.com, and that apparently looks on the local network, I think. And then, oh, we gotta to proceed to a different URL. Well, sure, we'll go to findquickconnect.to. And there it is. It even knows the model, DS920. So click connect. And of course, we have end user agreement, which I'll read very thoroughly. There, there read, done. Uh, this will, oh, welcome. Yes, let's set it up. Click on the setup, that's it. Install Dissertation Manager, DSM. I know this, this is the operating system of the NAS. So yes, we do want that. And yes, I understand that the two brand new drives will be removed, or all files will be removed, but there's nothing on them. Anyway, create an admin account. Uh, yeah, we'll do Merlewood NAS, that's a good name. My farm's called Merlewood, so there we go. Username, that's me, and we'll come up with some random password. There we go. Then I think it, oh, quick connect. Uh, I think this is so you can access it on the internet. So yep, put in some details. Oh, more terms. Yes, I've read those two. And I've read that one too. Look at that, fast reading. Whee! And I'm all set. Okay, let's go. Smart update. 
Sure. Device analytics. Uh, I'll look at that later. Some tips. That's good. Tip two. That's the that's the App Store package center. Control panel, just like on my computer. And that's the desktop, I guess. Healthy. Healthy is good. We like healthy. Okay, there's some alerts there. Sure, security, something. Let's have a look at the files. Uh, oh, there's no shared folder. Oh, yes. Let's create a shared folder, I guess. That's what it tells me to do. So we'll do that. And no volume available. Okay, so we're creating a volume. What's a volume? I think a volume is the drives. So we'll go to volume. Uh, I've never done this before. So, oh, create volume. Yes, let's create a mode. Oh dear God. Um, quick. I think quick's good. Quick is... Oh wait, no, actually we wanna... I wanna create my own type of RAID because I know I want RAID 1. I just want duplicate of my disk. This is my main purpose is to duplicate my Plex data. So we'll go custom and we create a new storage. What's a storage pool? Uh, better performance? Sure. That's actually no, higher flexibility because we want to support hybrid RAID. Yes, RAID type. Okay. Uh, I'm, no, I want RAID 1. I'm going to go with RAID 1. And I'm not going to give it a name. That's okay. Those are the drives we just installed before. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. All the data were removed. Sure, that's fine. There's no data on them. Perform drive check. Sure. Let's look at the. Oh, what is this? I don't know. Um, I'm, that one's good. Okay, volume capacity. Oh, all of it. This is just gonna hold my movies and TV shows. Oh, we go. We have something. Apply that sucker, and then we'll get a volume. I think. Hey, volume is being created. 3.5 terabytes. Of course, you get that out of four terabyte drives. You get three and a half terabyte because maths. Um, now I want to have a file system then on these, I think. Let's have a look at these. Storage pool. Yep, that looks right. Sure. Those two drives in that storage pool. Um, those two drives. Yep. I don't have an SSD yet. Um, a hot spare. Love one. Don't know. Oh, SSD cache. I don't have that yet. You can put an M.2 SSD um, storage thing in it and it will use that as caching, which is kind of cool. We'll get that later, I think. Enable SMB. Yes, so that's so I can access this from my laptop on the same network. Uh, PC Windows Explorer. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So now I can access it as if it was just another drive. That works. A user, sure. I guess we'll go back to that if I need more users on it. Uh, these are all good, I'm sure. I'll just leave all this default, I think. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here. I guess I'll learn that. So let's close the control panel. Uh, oh, now, now we're back to the folders. I want to share a folder because I want to put all of my movies and everything onto that. So let's try and access Wellwood NAS and we'll see if we can get to it. Yes, that would be the network credentials that I just set up before as a user. Excellent. Hey, so now I'm on the NAS in File Explorer. Now why can't I create a folder? Maybe I have to create it through here. Aha, create new shared folder. Alright, so we're going to call this one media because that's what we're going to have in it. And it'll be on that location, that volume, that's fine. All of the Plex Media lives here, because it does. So let's create that folder. And uh, no, we're not going to encrypt it. It's just for my local network, so. Uh, d uh, no, probably not. And that'll do. Yep, creating a folder. So now, ah, there is it. Media folder. Niceness. Now we have a NAS. I've copied all of my media files onto it and we shall now set up Plex. You can see here I got movies and TV shows. So this NAS, the DS920 from Synology, is fully capable of running Plex. So I'm going to open up the Packed Center. Um, yes, more privacy statements. I read all of these. Okay, yes. 
Uh, well, let's find Plex on the Package Center. There are many, many, many different applications in here, uh, but we are gonna use just Plex today. Install the Plex Media Server. I should mention I've currently got this running on a laptop with an external hard drive, and I've now copied everything from the external hard drive to the NAS, which means I can now install Plex Media Server and run all of the media. And it's installing on the NAS, and now I can open it. Go. Plex server is up and running and you can see I just have to log in first so that I can associate this new Plex server with my Plex account. Sign in. Yep, I have set up Plex before but um, this is how it works. So I'm not going to call it Merle with NAS even though that's what it's running on. It's going to be Merleflix. Yeah! And I actually don't need to access this outside my house because I'm a satellite connection and very limited data. So this is just going to be locally. All right. Yes, I do want to add some libraries. Um, well, because I've got the movies and the TV shows. So we'll choose a movie library. And then I'm going to add my folder, which we just created on the NAS. So there's the media that's the one volume one. And it's in the media folder. And there's nothing. Uh, why? Do, 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 do. Hmm, hang on. Hmm, maybe it just can't see the folders. Huh. Yeah, so I'll just try and type them both in. I've already done movies. Here's TV shows. And we'll add those. And then just go next. So now I've added the paths manually. Pretty sure that's not going to work, but just to keep going. Um, Wellflex is my preferred server. Um, Railwood Plex is my old server, so that's still working. That's still running off the external hard drive on the laptop, and there's nothing here. Hmm. Let's go back into the managed libraries and just double check the folders here. No, all right, back on the NAS. I think I know what the problem is it's a permissions thing, it's got to be permissions. So I'll go into control panel. And in here, we'll look at the shared folder that we created, which is the media one. So Plex has already created one as well for its installation. And let's turn right click, I edit, and there's a permissions tab. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. And there's Plex, no access. Aha, so we have to give Plex access to that folder. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, so now it has access. And lo and behold, my movies folder and the TV shows folder are there. So let's just update that. We'll save that and we'll go back and do the same for TV shows. There on the edit. So the files were there, but Plex couldn't see it because Plex didn't have any permissions. And add TV shows. And let's see what happens now. If it saves these changes. We go back to Plex. There are the movies. Refresh. And yes, there they all are. Hallelujah. It's working! And it works on my phone too. So that's it. The Synology DS 920 Plus with two hard drives in it. Um, I'm a complete noob, as I said many times, and I got it smoking. This is a really nice device. It's chunky, it's well built, um, pretty easy to actually get going once you have half an idea of what you're doing. And I am definitely going to be doing more stuff with it, installing things and figuring out how to do cloud backups and all sorts, but um, there'll probably be other videos on it. So, um, probably need more hard drives. Yeah. <laughs>